Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a roster showcase for you guys. I haven't done one in a year and a half. I tried doing one every year um, in around August before I leave for college. Uh, but I figured um, I wanted to kind of push it over to the end of the year kind of thing or the beginning of the year kind of time. Um, because it just didn't really make much sense to do one in August. Um, it seems like a rather random time of the year to do it. And so I figured I'd try to push it to the beginning of the year. Uh, however, you know, doing one only within you know after only four months seems a bit excessive so i waited decided to wait one and a half years before doing another one but this will be the 2023 roster showcase again this is done in january 2023 um and yeah this is going to be a little thing showing off all the engines i currently have and it's a uh, you know it's more it's more so so we can just kind of so i can just kind of document you know how my roster has changed over the years keep in mind this is my permanent roster um this is not the stuff i'm trying to sell this is just the stuff i'm keeping for myself for the long term, for the for, for the foreseeable future, um, and so yeah, it's it's kind of nice to see you know compare how many engines I had back then, how many I have now, how many you know engines are ready to run, how many are painted, how many have DCC sound, and how many need work and you know still are DC and unpainted and etc. So it's always cool to kind of document and see how my roster has roster has changed over the years, and that's the reason I make one. I try, I try to make one of these videos every once in a while, but um yeah so. <clears throat> I will get into all the engines, but real quick, I just wanted to kind of mention at first, uh, this is kind of all the Pennsylvania Railroad engines. This is everything I have as Pennsylvania. Uh, over here, this is all my New York Central stuff, a little bit over there. This is my Santa Fe, and then here's my miscellaneous and, and diesels. So diesels plus miscellaneous stuff is over here. This is all steam engines over here. So yeah, that's kind of the organization. So um, if you want, I will place timestamps. I'll start with the Pennsylvania Railroad, then move on to New York Central, then finally Santa Fe and the miscellaneous. And I'll place timestamps, hopefully, or chapters uh, in the video description so you can kind of, you know, skip forward to whichever part you want to see. Uh, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> All right, so in the beginning here, we have a whole bunch of K4s. Um, first off, we have two Bachman K4s, uh, 1361 here. That's my first ever Pennsylvania engine. Um, and that's the other one that's pre-war, so post-war, pre-war, both Bachman. Then we have two uh, BLI QSI slash Paragon engines, which both have their you know electronic stripped and converted to TCS. Uh, they're both post-war. One has a slate pilot, one other one has a regular uh, cast pilot. Then we have another BLI one. This is a stock Paragon 2 uh, post-war uh, K4. Then we have uh, two MTH K4s, actually three MTH K4s here. <clears throat> um, these two are both pre-war. This has the, the striping, and this is a post-war style. Over here we have a, I believe this is an L1S. Yeah, this is an L1S post-war made by BLI. Um, then we have uh, two BLI um, I want to say, in fact, we have a third one here. Uh, this one is PCM, so it has a QSI sound converted to TCS. This one is a stock Paragon 2, and this is another stock Paragon 2 with the uh, long tender, the coast to coast tender. Um, these two are both post war, this one's pre war. <clears throat> and then we have um, three um, brass. H classes. This is an H9 that's th still currently in progress. I'm converting it to an H9. Uh, this has, I, I added a MTH uh, tender, the shorter style tender. I think it's a 70 gallon tender. Um, just for a little variation, this is a post war sunset one. Uh, these are both sunset. All three of these are sunset, by the way, but this is a post war one also by sunset. This has a stock sunset tender uh, without the bunker. Um, and this one's already pretty much finished at uh, TCS and everything like that. This one, again, is still a work in progress. Um, and then this one here is a stock Sunset H10. Um, yeah, it's it's pre-war style still. So yeah. <clears throat> Back here we have a NJCB uh, made Pennsylvania Road C1 class. Then we have two key brass B6 classes. This is a B6SA number three with the um, snowblower attachment. And this is a B6SB modernized, um, also by key, as I said. Over here we have a BLI H10. This is a stock Paragon 2 model. And then we have a Proto 2000 um, Pennsylvania Road B20, B28 class, I believe, um, 060. This is a USRA 060. <clears throat> and then the stuff that's not on the tracks over here, uh, we have an Alco Brass uh, E6, um, which needs a lot of work. Then we have a stock unmodified PFM United L1S. Here we have a Sunset Non-Prestige Series uh, K4 with the long tender. This one actually looks really, really nice. I just need to add some, uh, change a few things up and uh, add some sound in there. Then we have a stock PFM United uh, K4 uh, with the uh, 130 
130 gallon tender with a train phone. Um, this one also needs a lot of work still. A lot of these brass entrants, unfortunately, I kind of just bought them and I haven't really gotten the chance to work on them yet because I've been so busy. Uh, so you'll see a lot of these brass engines have not been modified yet um, and you and ha therefore haven't been included in any videos because they're not ready to run yet. <clears throat> Here we have a BLI a Paragon Series M1B uh, with converted to TCS Wow Sound. Uh, then we have a heavily modified Gem Models E6. These these have a lot of um, inaccuracies, like the boiler's too high, um, and the you know the fronts all wah off and stuff like that. And also the sand dome is wrong. Actually, they actually fun fact they actually used an H10 sand dome. This boiler I believe is from their H10 model, so the sand dome is wrong. Um, it needs a it should look something more like a K4 of sorts, or actually a better a G5. That's a better example. It should look something like that. Uh, but anyways, this, so this one's a work in progress as well. Um, it's got a Northwest Rolling gearbox and cam motor and like that. But this one it still needs a lot of work. Um, as opposed to the other Alco one, which has a bad gearbox. Uh, anyways, both uh, two E6s. Uh, here is a West Side G5. Uh, these are very common. I got I added a cam motor into it. Here we have an unmodified uh, Alco E5. These were made by Cobra, the AKA the worst manufacturer, the a, the worst HO brass manufacturer. These models are horrendous, um, but I'm trying to make this one work, so that's the reason I have it. Uh, and then here we finally we have a Sunset Prestige series. Um, Factory painted Pennsylvania Road A5S. <clears throat> oh, four out. And that is pretty much it for Pennsylvania Road. Uh, my Pennsylvania Road collection is more or less complete here. Um, I'm missing maybe like one streamlined K4 and and a, maybe a few more heavily modified K4s. But otherwise, this this collection is complete. I'm very satisfied with the collection currently. Um, and yeah. All right, next up, as I said, we have New York Central. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of skip forward real quick. I have two nickel plate engines. They're not really New York Central, but I kind of placed them here for some reason. They're both uh, proto models. One has a Marsite, one doesn't. Um, and then here's the New York Central stuff. So uh, we have a bunch of Mohawks. Here is an MTH L3B. Um, this is a BLI brass hybrid uh, L4B. Then here we have two uh, BLI uh, Hudsons. This is a, they're both J1Ds. One has the older style striping, and then, and then this is a one with the PT tender with the Roman uh, lettering. <clears throat> and then here we got two more Mohawks. This is a Key Brass 19, uh, 1980, actually, no, 19, yeah, 1989, I believe. Um, 1989 series uh, L2A with the coasting drive. This one needs a whole repaint and a bunch of other stuff, but I haven't gotten a chance to work on it either. And then this is a, a uh, key 1980 um, class L3B, although I'm going to probably relater it to an L3C. So, yeah. Here we have a Proto uh, 2000 or Proto 2000 Lifelike um, 080 New York Central. <clears throat> and then here we have a Sunset Brass um, New York Central uh, K5B, I believe. Um, really nice looking engine. I need to add sound to this guy because I really want to get this guy running. It looks beautiful. Uh, here we have a BLI Dreyfus Hudson uh, Brass Hybrid. Um, here we have an NJCB um, New York Central L2C class, I believe. Um, Mohawk here. Um, and then we have three USRA Mikados. This one's technically not uh, New York Central, but it will be relettered to, re to New York Central. This is a BLI model, Paragon series. This is a Trix model, um, and this is an MTH model. So all three will eventually be New York Central, and they'll have some modifications done to make them more accurate. But anyways, yeah. Here we have another uh, Alco Cobra made uh, New York Central K3Q class. Um, again, also needs a lot of work to get looking right, but... Um, for now, it's just I just bought it because it was cheap. Um, here we have a Bachman, uh, more or less stock, uh, 280, generic 280, uh, lettered for New York Central. And uh, yeah, that is my entire New York Central collection. Now we move on to Santa Fe stuff. <clears throat> All right, so in the back here, we have a PF emulated Santa Fe uh, 484 with the tapered rods. Um, then we have a key brass um, Santa Fe 3751 class. Um, 484 with the Alesco feed water heater, and then we have a BLI made 3751 class. Um, 484, I forgot to mention this is a 3776 class. Um, anyways, yeah, another one. Um, Paragon 2, really love that engine. Uh, it's actually my first Santa Fe engine, so that's pretty cool. Um, then we have a BLI uh, 3800 class 210 stock. This is a PFM United Santa Fe, um, 
four a or two eight four Berkshire, the forty one oh one class. This is my first ever paint job I did, and I think it turned out great. But um, I just haven't really gotten a chance to paint any more engines because this one took so long, and I'm just too lazy to do the rest. Um, anyways, and then here we have a stock BLI uh, four thousand class Mikado. Here we have a Sunset 3160 class slash 4000 class. They're the same engine, uh, just different class numbers. Um, Mikado again, this one has a shorter tender. I kind of like the combination of the two instead of having two identical ones. I kind of like having the Sunset and the um, and the BLI one. This is the third, uh, this is a second run Sunset model, by the way. <clears throat> All right, and then over here we have a Tenshoto uh, Santa Fe 40, uh, 3460 class Hudson. This one is in the progress of being super detailed. Um, because the Tenshoto ones are, they look pretty terrible, in my opinion. They need a lot of, they're, they're, they're good for the time, but they're kind of outdated in terms of detail. So anyways, yeah. And then here we have a Key, uh, Brass Santa Fe 3450 class Hudson, um, also stock. Uh, this is a Key Santa Fe 3400 class Pacific. Been after one of these for a long, long time, and I finally found one. Um, here we have a, a Hallmark Brass Santa Fe 3500 class Pacific. Again, one that I've been after for a long long time and i finally found one and again unfortunately a lot of these i just haven't gotten a chance to you know work on them at all but hopefully i'll have some time in the future um and then here we have a stock pfm united uh, santa fe 280 uh this is the i think that i believe the 1950 class um 280 here we have a sunset uh santa fe 1950 class uh 280 it runs a lot better than the pfm united one but um this is cheaper and i want to get this one to look just as good as this guy here but uh yeah here we have a Hallmark class, uh, 2522 class. I've done extensive work on or both in repair and also just modifying some details to make them look more accurate. Um, this guy, in my opinion, looks fantastic. And um, yeah, I actually have a whole video series about restoring this guy from start to finish, including DCC sound and adding lights and etc. If you're interested, I'd highly recommend you watch that one. Um, yeah. And then here we have, um, I guess this is my first brass engine here. Uh, it's uh, NJCB Santa Fe the 19 or nine, 19 no sorry the nine the 1480 class i believe that's that's what it is the atlantic um love that engine beautiful looking engine and yeah that completes my santa fe steam collection and finally we have miscellaneous slash diesel engines um <laughs> I have very few diesel engines by comparison <clears throat> and uh try to keep it that way because i diesels are okay but they're not my they're not my favorite thing um, so yeah, here's my first ever engine, I guess. Well, not really, but it's a Chattanooga, uh, first ever steam engine, I guess you'd call it that. Chattanooga from the Bachman train set. Here we have a heavily modified River Rossi 040 with Keep Alive and a DCZ decoder, as well as lighting for both the headlight and rear light. I have a video of this guy running. I, also, I think I also made a video of how I, uh, modified this engine. But anyways, River Rossi, uh, BNO C16 class. And then here we have a, an IHC, um, C16A class, also a BNO dock sider. The IHC ones will run a lot better than the River Rossi ones. Um, they have the proper flanges and also they have a can motor instead of the, one of those River Rossi terrible ones. Um, run a lot better. Also a little bit more rare though, but definitely worth the five extra dollars you'll pay for one of these. They're just very hard to find. So yeah. <clears throat> Here's a Tyco trolley. Uh, also the mechanism is actually a Bachman uh, diesel truck. Um, so it actually runs a lot better now, but little tiny trolley. I plan to super detail this one day, but I think it's a cute little thing. Then we have a, a MDC Roundhouse um, mod EMD Model 40. Cute little switcher with a Z-Scale decoder inside, DZZ decoder inside, so runs great. Um, here we have a Kato F40PH with the uh, modified uh, lighting package. All the lights work except for the emergency light. Um, this guy is really nice. My only completely out of era engine in my entire collection is this guy here. I just love Amtrak. I live next to the, the Northeast Corridor, so God love Amtrak. Here we have the only Penzi non-steam engine, which is this GG1 by Bachman. Um, got it at a really good deal on Train World, um, heavily discounted, so yeah. Then we have a Santa Fe ABBA set um, of the F7s. These two are both by Adam Genesis. Uh, it's the later run with the hand gra handrails or grab irons. Then we have an AB set by MTH. Um, these, I'm, I'm, I don't know about these. I might replace if I can find a, if I can find another wall, a, a Genesis set. I'll probably replace it with that. But these, I prefer over the BLI, and I definitely prefer over the Walders. Made a video kind of comparing all of them, but the, in short, the Walders one have bad paint, and the BLI ones also have eh, paint, really terrible sound, and overall, it's not a good uh, value for money in my opinion. Uh, MTH ones, the, it's the paint's a bit glossy and detail's not great, but they run great and I kind of like them. So, anyways, and then finally we have uh, two Santa Fe GP nines. One's by Adam Genesis and one is by Pro Two Thousand. Um, so yeah, 
and that can pretty much completes it i have one more engine here and that is uh, this guy right here this is a west side o scale santa fe brass uh, 1360 class mikado um impulsive purchase you know, from a while ago and uh i have it sorted here i didn't take it out uh, this time it's just really heavy but um yeah and then it's it's next to all the stuff i'm trying to sell currently but that stuff is again not in my permanent collection so that's that's pretty much it here um so that pretty much wraps it up um one thing you'll note is that there's no more sp stuff and that is because i gave up on modeling sp um it helps me kind of remove uh, you know a few engines from this layout um it, i'm already modeling three railroads right now it's already way too many stuff way too much stuff if i model a fourth railroad it's just even more stuff so i'm trying to cut cut things down and so i ended up selling off all my sp equipment uh, and that includes my mts gs4 my bli gs4 um the my west side streamline daylight p10 and i also wanted a west side uh a6 atlantic but uh, i ended up not getting any of those so yeah but anyways my roster i think has shrunken by a little bit not by much but the value of the engines overall has gone up uh quite a bit uh due to all these recent brass acquisitions that again i just unfortunately don't have the time to work on them right now but after college um after all that stuff hopefully i have some free time um and uh, start actually working on some stuff i just haven't really been active at home at all in the past four years due to college as i said again so yeah right now i'm just more into the acquisition part than the actual modeling part i guess um but yeah rest assured i am working on some stuff right now myself um keep myself busy um it's not like i'm laying around doing nothing um but um yeah that is pretty much the roster right now um as you can see my pr fleet is quite sizable as is my santa fe fleet my new york central stuff is coming along new york central stuff is very expensive and so it's kind of hard to find stuff um at affordable prices but um it's coming along and yeah my miscellaneous uh pile is gradually shrinking which is good it's a sign that i'm you know more focused on the prototypical stuff so that's always good to see uh but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions or comments on any of my engines uh feel free to let me know in the comments down below i'll try my best to answer all the questions and yeah I'll see you guys next time. Bye.